Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 78 of the Red Force Podcast. My name is Eric Tolano. Joining me today is Christian Tolano. Hello, welcome. Chapter, finally. Finally, we're back with a chapter. Finally. Last week, no chapter. Are we excited? Brutal. Oh, we are excited. Oh. It's a good chapter. This week. Okay. A lot of people getting mad because they're wrong. Christian, shout outs to the Patreon people out there. Anthony, Christian, Gut Smash, Katska. Yeah. Hez, Jordan yeah. Lee. Yeah. Nylock. I wonder who that could be. I wonder who Nylock is. And Ty Lester. We appreciate all of you. If you want to join Patreon, you can do it for five bucks. Get every episode early, audio only, for the yeah. month. Oh. Uh, every dollar counts. If you just want to donate a dollar, that's cool. Shirts. Shirts. Buy the shirts. Are go we going to do a new shirt? It's been quite a while. Maybe we entice. I had uh, I had a, an idea. What, what's the idea? For the, uh, I was going to call it the King's Range. Yes. Maybe, maybe people can figure that out. But. Okay. Who will I do next? Don't know. Will don't it know. be hype? Of course. Okay. Look out for that. Uh, uh, Christian. What are, what, are, what, are, what are we talking about? What this week at the one? Anime. Almost at Wano. Next week, Everyone's Wano. Everyone's excited. Now, pr- what? correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought Wano was trash. Why are people excited for the anime? Because the anime's not going to skip the fights. That's all people care about. Okay. They don't care about anything else. That's what I see. Sanji versus Page One. They want to see more of the Darby Robin thing. They want to see more. All jokes aside. Yeah. Looking good. Yeah. Yeah, we've said this multiple times. Can they keep it up for four years? What the Wayne see. Yeah. Stampede. When's that coming out? August. All right. Soon. So this should be done with the movie, right? Yeah. Yeah. Relatively. Yeah. So. Probably editing it at the moment. Editing, you know, effects, sound. All that kind of shit. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, we had that uh, King stream yesterday. King Lighty stream. Go check that out. Uh, you, can, you can only find it on Twitch. If you're alive, you're alive. There it is. All right. Okay. Uh, some sort of tea list debacle. Nightmare. Nightmare situation. Dritz got his way with top tier, which is uh, disappointing on you. You were there to catch the ball. He dropped it. Dritz gets very mad at the fact that he thinks Mihawk is top, is top tier. He thinks Mihawk's on you the top You let it level. go. And you let Alkainu go. No. I I was fine with letting Alkainu go. Oh, I'll give you that ground. But we had Mihawk in the correct tier, and then I left, and then he got moved up. Okay. Coincidence? I think not. I don't right. remember him moving up. I just I subbed in. Maybe it was in that gap in between. Exactly. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure we put him in the right spot. But, you know, Dritz, Dritz is a... Shout know. out to King Lightning. Shout out to Dritz. Shout out to Red Ragnar. Now, very excited. King Recon next week. Next week? Are you excited? I am very excited for King Recon. We're going to talk One Piece. We are. With uh, my favorite One Piece YouTuber. King Recon. He is a light in the darkness, Christian. He is. He's all hype. Look forward to it. Exactly. All right. Anything else you want to get into the chapter? Uh, you know, let's just, let's just go through the rundown. We got the chapter, Queen versus Olin. We got topic of the show, Shonen protagonist power-ups. Okay. I'm hearing a lot of nonsense yeah. from a certain sect of the community, you know, the BDA crew. You know? King of Lightning crew. King of Lightning crew. Saying Luffy's power-ups are trash. It's the worst Shonen well, protagonist. King of Lightning, I might add. Just, just to, you know. It's the worst pro- Shonen protagonist of all time. All this kind of stuff. A bit extreme. We're just, we're just going to go through how other Mega Cards have handled power-ups, training, that kind of thing. We're just going to go through it. Like and we're going to see... A bit of deja vu on this segment. Sure, we've, we've talked about it before, but we need to be talked about it again. Okay. Because I need we just need to see the, thing, the, the evidence on the table. Put it all out there. People, I don't know what they want. Oh, we've seen how other people handle this. Yeah. And we've seen how Oda handles this. And I don't really see a difference between that and other series. Okay. I don't really see a difference. We've got right. Power Scale with questions. And Hash Roger Jack. So cool. Of course. All right. Let's just get into the chapter. <laughs> Queen was not one shot. That's a riff for Eric. 
Not one shot. It's all right. Big Mum picks up Queen, gives him the Bowser treatment. Mario 64. Mario 64 style. Swings, it, swings him around, throws him into the wall. You know, it's the, it's the you know, KO. Dead. And the fanboys go crazy. Oh, they lose their minds. They go crazy. Big Mum was nerfed. How is this possible? Why is he Kind of his crew is trash. Why is it in his hybrid form? We've been saying this was going to happen. For literally months. For li- this chapter we called literally months ago. What did we say would happen? Big Mum would turn up, defeat Queen. Luffy would use the haki. Luffy would use the haki to get rid of the cuff on Hiro because Hiro yes. gets knocked out of the ring. Rayleigh and then, style. And then Luffy will have to test a new haki on Big Mum. Also... Or Queen, there was a variant. Or Queen. But we said it. Yeah. And also, bonus points, we said the Big Mom will bust Karl Marx out of his prison. Bonus points. Bonus points. Bonus points. Why people are shocked. We called this... I don't know why this chapter is controversial. As soon as Big Mom went to the prison on her journey, as soon as Luffy started to try and learn this hockey, it was obvious. Yeah, Christian, people say, like, obvious. you're only happy because your head cannons wrong with no. that shit. No. Alright. It makes perfect sense. Perfect power It makes sense. perfect sense and it's all regulation. When, nothing uh, nothing offensive about this chapter. When are people going to learn that emperors are bastard? Craziness. They're broken. Broken. Stupid. Doesn't matter what rank you are unless you're an emperor. All I'm saying is look at the evidence put before you. Big mom. No homies. No hockey. Just pure power. brute power and strength. Dominates Queen. Knocks him out. Apparently. Well, yeah, well, People are going to uh, contest. Stunned. Whatever you want to say. We'll get to it in the chat. He lost the fight. Whatever, however you want to spin it. However, however you want to spin it. He and lost there's a fight. lot of spin out there. Alright, he lost the fight. I'll say this to people, right? What? Remove the spin. Remove the head cannon. Look at what happens, right? Yeah. Fujitora versus Luffy. Yep. Now, people are going to say... He wasn't trying. Fujitora wasn't trying. But he likes Luffy, etc., etc. Right? wrong, because he was very angry, and he only liked Luffy, Luffy at the end of the fight. Luffy pushing Fujitora back with Gear 3. Yep. Charging in. Luffy saying all his attacks. Sure. Doesn't really matter, because Fujitora can see him anyway. Yeah. Luffy, Luffy holding back, for sure. Because he likes him. Luffy breaking out of the gravity. Yeah. Also... What are we doing? And then Fujitora ends it all with a with a tiger slash. But there's no damage to Luffy. Doesn't know because he's rubbing shit. Yeah. You know? Contrast that to, to Kaido. Gear four. I mean, Kaido, Gear three did gear knock three him out of the sky. Gear three knocks him out of the sky. Okay. Okay. Gear four. Zero damage. No, it does nothing. And then he proceeds to one shot. And then he one shots Luffy. Blood, destruction, oh. in gear four. Ko. And that's future side Luffy. That's the difference. Look at Marco versus Kizaru. Short fight. Not much to talk about. Some say some say Marco won that fight. Some people are wrong. But some people say Marco won that clash. Okay. Marco comes in, absorbs a little damage because he's dealt for it, kicks Kizaru, Kizaru goes flying. Yeah. I don't know if that's a, I don't think that's a troll. Yep. Right? He's in a he's in a warlike situation. All you have to do is look at Whitebeard versus Al Qaeda. That's all you have to do. Alright? Whitebeard's half dead. Whitebeard, two shot, Al Coyote. Some see people say he got back he got back up like ten minutes later. He lost the fight. Yeah. Sure. Did Al Coyote severely damage Whitebeard? Yes. Whitebeard's sick and old. Alright? Whitebeard Prime, one shotting Al Coyote. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah, maybe. Whitebeard Prime, apparently stronger than the Empress currently. Everyone respects him so much. Yes. Strongest man, all that kind of stuff. Now, the controversial and just confusing thing comes up with two animals versus an emperor, all that shit, right? Let's just... Two wait, V1s are stupid. Wait, let's contrast. Also, Luffy versus Big Bob and Hulk Crack Art. Yep. Blocks gear four... With ease. With ease. Does not move an inch. And then somehow proceeds to drain Luffy... Of his strength. Of his strength, whatever you want to call that. I don't know if that's real or not Could be real. the new hockey stuff. Could be the new hockey stuff. Reflected back at Luffy. Who knows? In some way. 
Contrast that to Fujitora. Contrast that to Marie Fort. With Marco. With Marco. It's obvious. Emperors are top of the world. No question. And the commanders have no business. No business. Talking about it. Contesting emperors. No business. That's why this fight in Wano is still... How are they going to win? Nerfs, buffs, new hockey abilities. Well, we, we, we'll get okay. to it. We haven't even talked about the chapter yet, Christian. All right, we're just talking about it. We're, we're talking about the chapter, I guess. So, Kamatsu's cage is broken. The goons claim Big Mama knocked out Queen. Two hits. Two hits. A what man a, worth $1.5 1. 1. billion. 1.3. One don't matter. What an impressive specimen. A whole new level of power. Uh, of course. Not even... A second did how I many get, times does Oda have to tell you? Not even a second did I doubt his outcome. But how, Not even a second. how many times does Oda have to tell you that the emperors are stupid? Big Mom, force of nature. Five years old, knocking out a bear. Five years old, defeating giants. Five years old. What was Luffy doing at five years old? Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. We don't know what Kaido was doing. We don't know what Kaido was doing. White beard. No, 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 no Big Mom's level. He was on the seas or some shit. Still fighting for his, fighting for his nation, life. Nation. Big Mom. Absolute. Weapon. Force of nature. So, it's, there you go. We've got a few questions about Big Mom in the comment section, right? Sure. In the question corner. Again, yeah. I'm, I'm perplexed as to why people are saying yeah. that Big Mom is five years old in I this don't know. mental state. I don't know. I don't know. It's confusing and annoying. It's confusing and very annoying. But it's but she understands concepts, all that kind of stuff. And we're back. And we're back. Interrupted again. We have an animal in here. Will she make noise? Yes. We'll have to wait and see. Sure, we're looking at the door. Dangerous. What are you doing? Alright, back, back to Big Mom. I don't understand why people think Big Mom is a five year old child. I don't understand <laughs> it. Do you understand it? No, you don't. No, she doesn't understand it. No, she doesn't understand it. All right? It's crazy. Yeah. It's actually crazy. Uh, Let's continue with the chat now. (laughs) All right. So, (coughs) the big, the the Kaido pirates try and call Kaido. The Animal Kingdom pirates, Stephen, what are you doing? The Beast pirates, Animal Kingdom pirates, the 100 Beast Kaido, whatever. Annoying. They try and call him. And uh, telephones and snails aren't working. Roasted. Right, Eric roasted. Oh, I got roasted. Theory lit the fuck up. We all knew it was too good. Gen Mushies, we all knew it was too good to be true. We all knew it was too good to be true. It was a dream that got crushed. The the Uh, smart snails have a weakness. Weak mental strength. They need to be boosted. We know how. By, via a boss snail. Easy how uh, Fukuroji Kuju got the information. There's no traitor. Eric's theory time. There's no traitor. They tell, just tap the wires. Just tell the people what, what you think the theory is. Listening in on the conversations through that the, the boss snails. are having through the dead dead mushies they're using. Through the boss snails. Finding out about, finding out about the, the uh, now, rebellion. I assume there's multiple of them. There can't just be one for the whole entire island. There's one in every region. Yes. Said in the chapter. The, the, the people might have one. Right? Like the Kinemon might have one, right? I doubt it. I, I doubt think it, though. I think they're using the public... They get... Udon. They're getting tapped. Yeah. There's no traitor. There you go. Solved. Solved. No traitor. No drama. We don't have we time for drama. We didn't think outside the box enough about communication. We're going to think about the dead About wire tapping. They are, they are psychic abilities. About wire tapping. We didn't think about it. Yeah. I mean, Oda gave us a clue with, you know, Big Mom and Kaido. Okay. How the Navy was wire tapping. It's probably wire tapping. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What's going on there? Let's go. All right. So, Big Mom finds the Oshiku... Oh, Oshiki Ro... Fuck. Oshiki Roku. Yes. Oshiki Roku. Which is not a Japanese man. Oshi Roku. There you go. Oshi Roku. She finds the pot. Nothing in it. I told you there was no pot. There was no secret stash. She smells the pot. Give it off the Residue, aroma. I guess. It's got a strong smell. That's what I'm saying. That's okay. what I said last week. She finds it. There. Nothing in it. Rampage, Savage. is it on the table still? No, it's not. 
We have I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why no rampage. Yeah, tell because me of what Big Mom says her intentions are. She wants to get this food to give to other people. Not because she's hungry for it. Not because she's hungry for it. But she's hungry for it. She has a motivation other than herself. Yes. Meaning, this fight between Luffy and Big Mom is going to be interrupted by Tama because she listens to Tama. And she's going to be like, no, Big Mom, this is a friend. Uh, He's my friend. We'll go get the, we'll go get this food somewhere else. Yeah. All that kind of stuff. All right. So, you know, the prisoners start to run. There's no point fighting Big Mom. Now, Luffy keeps on saying Big Mom. She doesn't recognize it. Luffy thinks... She's, she can't see him because of the samurai it's costume. Samurai disguise. All right. Legit serious talk. What? Thoughts on the alliance with Big Mom and Luffy. Is it happening? It's happening because she doesn't know who she is. But is it happening indefinitely for Wano? I shoot it. It's all dependent on when she gets her memories back. Does she get them back at the end of Wano? And then we go to Albath with her. Listen. Listen, alright? Too easy with Big Mom on our side. It's too e- it is too easy. But it's also too hard if she's against us. But we've been through this multiple it times. It just depends on the, the children show. arrive. Yeah. I guess. Sure. So. <sighs> fuck. It, there's still a mystery there. Both, both sides have flaws and problems. We've talked about Big Mom... Being at all, in, with all the lines of Luffy being the worst option, I think. Well, if she's out of her state of mind, it doesn't. It makes narrative sense. Yeah, but it's not. Like, it's it leaves, it leaves you empty. Sure, that's true. Oh, look at this. <laughs> How about that? How about that, Chris? I can't even turn this phone off. What are we talking about, Big Mom? <laughs> yeah, we can't get through this fucking channel because we keep getting interrupted. All right. Can yes. be interrupted. Alright, back to the fucking, you know, Big Mama Lights bullshit. Yeah, we already talked about that multiple times. It both both these have flaws. Yes. Both these have massive flaws. So we'll see about that. The goons, you know, Baba Yama, whatever his name is, is like, no point attacking Big Mom. We're just gonna get dominated. Let's just run. No point. No point. Right? It turns out. Caribou has his intel on these boss nails. He absorbed it. We no longer have to deal with it. Right? We cut the communication. Then Rizo is going to go get the keys for Kawamatsu. He's close to escaping. We're close to seeing this reveal. How OP is this man? This man's getting hype. He better be Ashra Doji level. He's Hi, I'm assuming, Christian. Oh, shit. The silhouettes. The mystery. The, the mystery. It's going to be, it's going to be all. The mystique. All, the, you sure? All right. How stupid is this man going to be? Broke we are sure. I don't know. I think command level's fine. Uh, if you think about it, Luffy then blurts out that he ate the Oshiruko. Oh no, Luffy! It was tasty. It was tasty. Big Luffy never had a thought bubble in the entire of the manga. Yep. He's not gonna have one here. Classic OG Luffy. Yep. Big Mom hears this shit. She's like Nani. She's she's all like Nani. It was you? Yeah. Give me that food. Why'd you eat it all? Why'd you eat it all? And then, Queen, on the ground, thinking about the fact that Luffy ate it. Is it a thought bubble, or is it like a out of consciousness bubble? Because you see... His mouth's not open, whisper, I'm gonna say... Whisper bubble. I'm gonna say it's a thought bubble. Sometimes Oda does the whisper bubbles. You can see the shake lines. Yeah. Queen, in a bad way. He's roasted. He's roasted, he's recovering. Yeah. With his Zoet bullshit, alright? Yeah. He's recovering. But he did get destroyed, alright? Alright, so Big Mom starts attacking Luffy and bu- she's busting up the sumo is- ring. What? Queen got roasted so hard. Yeah. It makes you think, right? Katakuri smoothie cracker versus Big Mom mm. would probably last fucking 10 minutes. I think Katakuri's got the slipperiness. Big Mom's speed, her attack speed. Questionable. She'd break through smoothies attacks with her sword. Fuck her up. Sure. Cut through Cracker with her sword. Well, fuck Cracker's him got, up. Cracker's got stalls. Plus stalls Prometheus. Stalls. Giant explosion shit. Alright. Zeus as well. We all know, we know Cracker's biscuits are immune to uh, fire and shit. So. Also, she'd Kat- have the power to break them easily. 
Kanekuru is a different story because he can, he's not doing damage to Big Mom, but he's dodging her, right? Yes. A little bit. A little bit. Uh, there you go. So, after that discussion about commanders and if they can take down Edwards. Oh, that's so stupid. People right? think that Kanekuru has a shot. No shot. Does it? Does it? All right. So, then Big Mom's busting up, busting up the, the field, busting yes. up the ring. Uh, they're like, no, stop, we're going to die. Then Big Mom reveals her intentions that she wanted to get the truth to the people. We already, we already discussed that. Uh, then Hyogo is flying into the air. Oh no, what's going to happen? Luffy breaks off the collar using the new Haki. Now, I think I've worked this out. Eric confused. How is this new Haki? Oh yeah. All he right, can just break on. it with his hands anyway. Yep. Which is, that's, that's the confusing part about this whole thing. The way I break it down is, Luffy says in the previous panel, come off. Yeah. Which means he's using his will to bend this object. He's using his will to bend and break the collar. So Luffy's using the 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 uh, the flow, the 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 voice of not the voice of all things, the flow, the rhythm of all things, to break the collar. As Zoro uses the same technique to cut steel. But he also does it with his bare hands. Well, Zoro also does it with his swords. So, he's using the voice, the, the rhythm of all things to bend things to his will. As Zoro does to cut steel. Okay. It's the same thing. Alright, I'll take it. That's that's what I think it is. Because otherwise, it's well, we, just... You know, we've seen Luffy's impossible strength. This is what it, What is this made out of? I mean, it's close to his neck. How does he get leverage? How does he break it off without breaking Hero's neck off? Okay. Or like, uh, you know, it's about finesse. Sure. Uh, so Luffy breaks off both collars. They explode. We win. Luffy somehow used it, but he are right. Wants Luffy to understand what he did. Luffy doesn't know what he did. Yeah. So he are puts his life at risk. Turns his back to Big Mom. Luffy has to protect him. Luffy not stupid, and thinks he can be Big Mom. He's like, wait, we're gonna get out of here. It's funny how he thinks he can be Kaido. But he thinks he can't be Big Mom. Big Mom. What do you think about that? Uh, he backs himself in with Kano. Doesn't back himself in with Big Mom. I don't know. It's a, weird, it's a weird thing. Luffy comes in there. Haki's up. He's ready to block. He's going to use a new Haki next He still week. hasn't got the new stuff to defeat Emperors yet. So Yeah, he's, he's working on he's it. He's working on it. So, end of chapter. Luffy's about to use this flow. Deflect Haki. Whatever you want to call it. Yes. End of chapter. So, uh, slash Luffy's already used it. So Luffy's got the power up. There you go. There it is. And the crowd goes wild. Luffy orders a hack. This is too fast. What about Kid? What about Luffy? Zoro? What about Sanji? Luffy's getting too much power ups. Luffy's growing too fast. It's too fast. How is this too fast? It's been like 15 chapters. We're trying to learn this. 15 chapters. We're trying to learn this technique. It's it, what it comes down chapters. to is my favorite character isn't growing, and Luffy's bound leaps, just Luffy, jumping. But but it's justified. Uh, it's not. Luffy learned the gears in one night. On the sea train, he learned the gears. Yes. No one complains. Zoro learned this same technique in less time in a fight where he was close to death. Yeah. No one complains. Mr. One. Mr. One. One of the great fights of the story. One of the great fights. No one complains. No one complains. I don't understand this complaining. We're getting in-depth training. We're learning how it works. We're being shown bit by bit. He's got a trainer. He's not working it out by himself. He's not working it out by himself. Someone's teaching him. I don't understand the outrage and the confusion about why this is too, qu yes. too quick too soon. How? He learned Future Sight in less time. Fight a good opponent. In a fight. Sure. Luffy 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 absorbs things he's seen around him and turns it into his own techniques. We saw that with the gears with the uh the six paths. Yeah. He tries to mimic those. Gear three with the giant fist from, you know, the Albaf warriors. He's seen things and he tries he tries to make it his own. He's seen Rayleigh do this technique and he saw Katakuru use Future Sight. So he, he knows has that exists. knowledge that not many people have. Exactly. 
that knowledge of the flow to Haki, or whatever you want to call it. The Wano swordsman technique. It has to be a Wano secret technique. Yes. It has to be. Hiyo didn't even know you could use it with your fists. He only knew you could use it with a sword. With a weapon, yes. Yes. So, there you go. There it is. I don't have any problems with how this was handled. Zero. A little bit of a training arc. We spent a Se- lot of time also, doing it. Also, secret Wano technique lost to time. Because of the... Because of, 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 of Orochi. Because of Orochi. We see it being developed... And then Luffy is pushed into a situation where he has to use it or or he dies, which we fucking called forever ago. Yep. All right? Reminds me exactly of Super Saiyan. Goku put in a, in a tight situation. He gets angry. He gets, gets upset. Finally unlocks his true form. But at least we train specifically for this technique, yeah. Christian. That's why it's better than Super Saiyan. But, you know, topic of the show, Christian. That's why it's topic of the show, of course. Now, what do you want to say about this chapter? Predictions next week. Obviously, Luffy uses this hockey, and whatever happens there. Now, what does it do? We now it will deflect Big Mom's breaking attack. news. What? Right, breaking. What if this shit is busted? Yeah, and KO's Big Mom. No, pfft. which is a stretch. Right? Which is which is crazy. Not gonna happen. All right, that's not gonna happen. People need to relax. People think Luffy's gonna be Emperor Tier now. Fucking relax. Why right? would that even be a fee? Relax. It's not going to be that. Why would that even be a thing? It's going to be good. It's not going to be that good. Uh, Do you think it deflects the punch and Big Mom's hand is bloodied, showing that he got through the Iron Blue defense? Is that what we think is going to happen? That's that's as far as I think it's going to go. That's that's the maximum. I think she'll get knocked off balance. Balance. Something like that. I think this attack's going to be deflected. A little bit of blood showing us that it got through the iron blue technique. Giving us a hint to Kaido. And a hint to how to beat him. Because maybe they're similar techniques. All that kind of stuff. Yeah. There you go. That's what I think. It might. Oh, anyway. What I was, what I was saying. If this, this stuff. We have to see what it does, right? Yeah. And if we know what it does. We have to talk about Rayleigh again. But we saw it with Rayleigh and we saw it with, with Santa Maru. But we don't know what it does to Emperors. We don't know what it does to Admirals. Luffy wasn't damaged when Santa Maru used it against him. He was just knocked back. We have to see what it does. The elephant, Santa not Maru isn't Rayleigh. The elephant, not damaged, knocked back. It seems to be a, ref- a deflection technique. And maybe you could, you could infuse it with your armament to do, some to do extra damage. Okay. To break through defenses. Piercing damage. Piercing damage, because you're bending the will. Yeah. You know, all that kind of stuff. Bending an object to your will, therefore getting past its defenses. Okay. Right? That's what I think it's going to be. We'll find out next week with King Recon. Okay. Hype. All right? Ratings. Ratings. 7 out of 10 chapter. It's a fine chapter. We call this. It's not offensive. It's not offensive. It's not, it's not miraculous. You know. It's hype. It's hype. Luffy's about to use this new technique. It's a setup chapter. It's confirming things we already knew. We already knew. And now, there is no debate. There's no debate. About admirals and emperors. Zero debate. Now, people are going to bring up... They're going to spin it in a way that... Queen's trash. Okay. King's trash. Jack's trash. All right. And they're nowhere near the level... Even though Neko and Inu took five days to not even defeat Jack. A uh, commander who has a lower bounty and rank than Queen. And Queen gets two shot by Big Mom. Uh, what, do you, what do you have to say about that? 1.3 bounty. What do you have to say about that? Navy stands. What do you have to say about that? Okay. What do you have to say about that? Uh, Arcana could do the same thing. That's what I would say. All right. No evidence? No proof? The Magma Fist. In fact, the exact opposite. The the Magma Fist is Shanks blocked with his sword. In fact, the exact opposite. Okay. How does one fight al if Haki doesn't... If he burns even through Haki? He doesn't. We know he doesn't because we saw it with Shanks' sword. And we saw it with Marco and Visto attacking him at once. Yes. Cutting the lava. Also, you could say Crocodile cut his lava as well. Yeah, but that wasn't Haki. That's, That's sand. sand. He, he was burnt. Okay. With Quill with a quick attack. Yeah. Stop. With the al Kaidu head cannon spin. I get it. Oda likes to say crazy shit about... You didn't about, even go on your Viva card rant. 
This, this, there's no point. Al Kano, I get it. He's getting hyped up by our own favorite cards and SBSs. All that kind of bullshit. But do we see it in the manga? No, we don't. So stop. Please. Stop. Alright, there we go. Good chapter. Waiting for next, next week. week. I want to see what this shit does. If, then we can start forming what the final battle looks like. And what the future of One Piece How many like. people drop One Piece next week? No one. No one? They're just going to complain. Okay. Alright. There you go. There it is. Depends how hype it is, I guess. Yeah. We're talking about the hype. The hype ratio. index. I think people are so cynical right now, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what happens next week. If it doesn't work, we wasted our time and do not. If it does work, Luffy's getting power up too fast. This is unfair. This is bullshit. This is an ass pull. Oh, there's a hack. And the people don't understand what the definition of ass pull is. A power up out of nowhere. What would be my definition of an ass pull? Sure. Or something happening out of nowhere. I'm set up. It doesn't make sense. This has been teed up for years. Yes. Exactly. So there we go. There's the chapter. A little bit spicy this week. Here we're getting interrupted. Yeah. About to have a fucking brain aneurysm. Yeah, sure. But let's talk about the greatness of Shanks. It is how strong is Shanks? <laughs> Every week, we come to you with the question of how strong is Shanks? And every week we answer. Shanks is the strongest. Shanks is the God King. But there are people out there who think Kaido is the strongest. Who think Dragon's the strongest. Who think Sweatiest Man on the Planet. Al Qaeda is the strongest. And who think Homer is the strongest. But they're all incorrect. Shanks is the strongest. He's the God King. Now, every week we come with 100%. Factual information of why Shanks is the strongest. Alright? Now, I may remind you, every new hockey feat, Shanks also gets. Yeah. Which makes him even more broken. Let's get into it. Shanks is so strong that he has mastered the flow of hockey so well that he can turn water into wine with his will alone. Shanks is the strongest. Shanks is the goalkeeper. Performing miracles with his hockey. Alright? There you go. Legitimate question what? for you. Conqueror's hockey. Yeah. Does Shanks' Conqueror's hockey knock out commanders? If Big Mom is able to two shot Queen, does it knock out commanders? So you asked me in the How Strong is Shanks segment, so I have to say yes. <laughs> uh huh. But is it conceivable? That's conceivable. What's the difference between two shot and knocking out with Congress hockey? Not much. Not much. Not much. Not much. There you go. With no hockey on that shit as well. Exactly. Just fucking this brutal is real, power. Real brutal power. We're not here to talk about Big Mom though. Alright? This is so Shanks' segment. Okay, okay. Alright. Now. Talk about the show. On to talk of the show. Power up. Showing protagonist power. So we're talking about protagonists, not talking about side characters. They're talking about masters, yeah, sure, and protagonists, because we're comparing Luffy to other protagonists. Let's All just right. go through it. <laughs> On to the topic of the show. Shonen protagonists and their power-ups. We start off with the classic, the original Goku. Original Dragon Ball, all about the training. Yeah, that's all it's about. Tournaments. Loading moves, tournaments, uh... You know, uh, what's his face? Fucking. Yeah. What? The Hulk Kamahamaha, Hulk. loading that. Master Polar, Roshi. Master Roshi, training Delivering Krillin, milk. Training Krillin, training Goku to become Digging stronger. Digging up the ground. Exactly. Dragon Ball, all about training. No ass pull power ups in Dragon Ball. None. Yeah. Goku, uh, you could call the Great Ape. But, uh, I don't know. But it's there. That's a situational get out of jail free card yep. for, you know, Toriyama. I guess. Well, there you go. Now we move on to Z. We still have training with K.O. Ken. We've got Hoverboard Time Chamber. We've got Gravity Training. But then we start to get 
the power-ups coming out of nowhere with Super Saiyan. Now, did this start the trend? Did Super Saiyan start the prophecy power-up? Slash Nakama power-up. Slash Nakama power-up. Emotion power-up. The most iconic moment of Dragon Ball, Krillin's death. Yeah. Due to... Uh, in Freezer. Sparks. Sparks the rage. The rage and the Super Saiyan. That gets Goku to Super Saiyan. Now, the prophecy has been sprinkled out throughout the Freezer. Sure. Program. But is this the beginning of the prophecy power up? You'd have to you'd have to look through history. I think it is the but beginning. You might the... you might as well say yes. The prophecy power up. Yes. Go short Goku trained his body to get to that point, I guess. Will he have gotten Super Saiyan even if he didn't train? Saiyan Cells. Saiyan Cells, all that kind of shit. Alright? We get all that shit in the Saiyan Saga. And then, more training. There's not really any more power-ups after that. All the Super Saiyan 3's trained and mastered. Well, not mastered. He trained it. He worked it out. He didn't work it out during the boo fight. Yeah. Super Saiyan 2 can say the same thing. Trained off camera. Trained off camera. Off camera training. Just like One Piece. Alright? And then, we get to Dragon Ball Super. With... Next level. More context. prophecy power-ups. Super Saiyan God. And then he trades it against Super Saiyan... He gets God for Saiyan God. And then he trades it, gets new key, Super Saiyan God. Yes. And then the tournament of power happens. Goku leveling up three times... Three times in 40 minutes. And people have the nerve to have an issue with Luffy getting his power-ups. In like 12 hours, 2 days. Yeah. What are we even talking about? What are we talking about? Ultra Instinct. Prophesized. Prophesized. Trained. He he pulls it out when he needs to in a pinch. Yeah. He doesn't actually know how to use it properly. He can't just pull it out whenever he wants. And it can only come out when he's about to die. Or about to lose. Definition of a bullshit fucking pull it out whenever you want power. Ace in the sleeve. Ace in the sleeve. Exactly. It's it's the it's the classic it turns out I wasn't using my full power and I'm just gonna go. How many times has this? he also ran out of key in this arc? Exactly. Saga. So you know. You could also talk about that and draw the parallel to gear four with that. Okay. G- Goku run out of key, just get it back for no reason. P- characters breaking character just to give Goku extra power ups, all that kind of stuff, right? So that's Goku's Goku's progression. Started off with training and then it, it did Tori I was like, let's add a little bit more spice. Let's put some prophecies, some, some interesting power-up transformation states. Let's do that. Because I'm sick of this training. I'm getting tired of it. It's yeah. been years, been arcs. Let's just try something different. Uh. And then Dragon Ball Super drops the ball. Drops the ball. All right, let's talk about Naruto. Classic training. But also, the classic prophecy power-up. Has a demon inside him. Can pop out whenever he wants. Gain tails whenever he wants. Gains tails when he gets mad. When he's about to lose a fight, he gets the tails, gets tails, tails. up, and wins. See it in the fucking. We see it in the Sasuke fight in part one, and then we see it in Shippuden with uh. We see it all the time in part one. In the two D exams, he gets one tail. Uh, it's a Sasuke fight against three tails. Orochimaru in part in, in, in part four. in part two four tails and then paid six tails and then by the time the last war comes around he's mastered it and he's unlocked day tail four. Did he train this form? No. Trained his body. Trained his body short to handle the form, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. But but the raid gave is, him more tails. Christian. It is a prophecy. Power, it's Super Saiyan. It's basically Super Saiyan. It comes out when it needs to come out. It's and the it has ultimate, multiple levels. It is the ultimate plot power up. Yeah. Because it comes out when the plot says it comes out. And people have the nerve. Have the nerve. To criticise and lambast this new Haki power up. That's been in the story a long time. It's been in the story for a long time. Luffy being trained in the moment. It's Sambayori. It's in Shibondi. It's in Alabasta. Yes. Rayleigh trained him. It makes complete sense. Is it too quick? No. Because we've already seen how fast power-ups happen. In Shonen, in general, and in One Piece. Alright? He's training. He's training. With a master. There you go. That's Naruto. He gets the power-ups because he needs the power-ups. You want to talk about 
And then God Sage mode that comes out of nowhere. I mean, he turns out to be one of the sons of the two sides. And then it falls apart in the last arc. Yeah. Kind of similar to Dragon Ball Super. Okay. He just gets power ups for no reason. People just goes give into the power-ups. goes into the ancient Sage Six Pass void. Turns out zone. he's a pro- he, another prophecy and power-up. Sasuke as well. Another prophecy power up. Yeah. Guess how many prophecy power ups Luffy's got? Zero. Could make conquerors maybe. Uh, it's not really a power up though because he doesn't knock out strong people. No prophecy power ups. In one piece. So far. He oh, trains to get his power ups. Luffy trains to get his power ups. There's no demon inside him. Sure. Uh, let's move on to some people. Some people say the best example of power scaling, the best training earned power ups in in Shonen history. Okay. We're talking about Hunter Hunter. We're talking about God. Multiple training arcs of training his Nen, unlocking new abilities with his Nen, working out his own techniques, getting stronger, getting training by different different masters, different teachers. To get him stronger to overcome different odds. And there is only one, only one bullshit power up in the entirety of Hunter Hunter, which is the the ultimate full potential form. There you go. Okay. There you go. So, what's your point, Christian? My point is if you look at the shonen genre as a whole, it's a combination between training. And exciting power-ups coming out in close, in hard spots. If you unlock a new ability, not in a tough spot, is it exciting? Does it, does it engage the reader? We, we, ha- having a mix of both training and unlocking abilities is what makes the genre exciting and what makes the genre healthy. Sense of progression as well. Sense of progression. It's all there. Now, what else have got here? I'm just going through Luffy's. Luffy's power-ups, first half, before the gears, is really no real power-ups. He's just kind of working out his opponents. Kind of base strength increases. Base strength well. increases, you could argue. He's working out his opponents, yep. figuring out their weaknesses, exploring those weaknesses. Yes. Which you could say is strategy. Luffy's using strategy in all those fights. Okay. You know, uh, uh, Crocodile being the, the prime example, blood, water, you know, he's using, he's using his weaknesses against him. And then we move on to the gears, which he learns from witnessing CP9 and their techniques. And then he learns them on the journey to Eddie's lobby. He learns it in a night. Okay. He learns the gears, which is arguably more impactful than this new Haki system. At the time. At the, surely, surely, it's a massive more, it's a bigger leap than this new Haki, right? Uh, we, we gotta see what it does, but yeah. Well, Assumably. Sure, it would be harder for Luffy to work out how to pump his blood and he goes faster okay. on his own, right? He does that, he gets the power-ups because he needs them and he wins. He still has struggles, right? Then we move to the, the post-time skip. We trade for two years, we learn Haki, we learn Gear 4, we're going in. What I like about Oda, there right? What I like about Oda's power-ups is Luffy gets the power-ups, but he doesn't automatically win like Super Saiyan or like Gone. Sure. Or like Naruto. Sure. Oh, Naruto doesn't automatically win, though. Sure. Uh, you pain fight. Uh, he won in baseball, though. Yeah, I know. He escapes uh, the right. death, no, whatever. Yeah. Fine. Goku, gone. Yeah. They automatically win the fight when they transform. Super Saiyan, it's over. Yeah. Uh, Ultra Instinct, it's over. Ultra Instinct is pretty much over. Yeah. Uh, Luffy, Snake Man... 50 That's not an unlock. That's, he already had that sure, ability. Sure, Gear Force against Dofi. Not still unlock. Also, not an unlock. He also, already had it. Uh, yeah, it still a power-up, nonetheless. He trained for it. We didn't know it was happening. We didn't know it was happening, but he had it. Yeah. Right? So, there you go. Rob Lucci. Brutal fight. Got two power-ups. Still. Still brutal still fight. Still a brutal fight. So, th- th- he gets power-ups, and the history tells you that they're not jail free c- Get out of free cards, all right? Yeah. They're not jail, get out of jail free cards. Yeah. Luffy will still have to give everything he has to be que- to be Big Mom and Carter with his fucking alliance. We've seen it every time. When has an opponent, except for like Mr. White and Zoro and shit, when has Luffy ever gone on a power up and instantly won the fight? It's never happened. Bruno. Bruno. 
He was but an that's a test. Example. That's a test as an example. He's not the main villain. He's not the main villain. It was a, it was a it was a showcasing of the power, right? People shouldn't be afraid because that's not Oda's deal. Exactly. It's not Oda's deal. Yeah. All right. He's not gonna one shot Big Mom. Get it? It's not happening. All right. There you go. That is. It's just a. It's how the genre works. All right. It's how the genre I don't works. think it's a group just one piece at all. It's how story like it's how power ups and stories work. I don't understand this meme. Jojo, Magic Arrow. MacGuffin power-ups. Yeah, MacGuffin power-ups. What do you think about those? <sighs> it's a mixed bag. Because on one hand, you're like, nah, you know, this doesn't really, you know... But it, 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 a Rocky makes it hard to get. Yeah, with some quest to get. Yeah. So, it's a, mixed, it's a mixed bag there. A Rocky's got multiple... A Rocky's systems. used to do trading and systems and that kind of shit. And now and it's like, learns new techniques or now it's yeah you evolve during fights to use your stand in a new new yeah, way yeah. not necessarily a power up more of a a new view on your powers to do new shit. Okay. So no one really gets a power up except for the, the stand arrow shit. Sure. And then part seven and eight, it's a whole different story. Which with that, into. which you won't get into. It's a mixture of both, yep. which is the best of both worlds. So it is. A symptom of the genre. I don't understand the complaining about Luffy's power-ups. I don't understand it. They're saying plot armor. They're saying plot convenience. Right? That's what they're saying. But how do you know Katakuri didn't unlock this his his future side in a similar fashion? We know Haki blooms in the heat of battle. How do you know all people, these characters? People will say, why did Katakuri's Haki bloom in the heat of battle? Capped potential. My friend. He's capped. He's capped his potential. He's 50 years old. He's capped his potential. He's seen many fights. Yes. And that's where he had lands. Yeah. All right? Shanks is 39. Been an emperor for many years. True. Blackbeard, 40. Just became an emperor. Sure. Uh, Katakuri, 50. The concept of capped Age potential. doesn't really matter. Sure. The concept of capped potential is not confirmed in One Piece, but uh, come on. We all know it's there. It's the reason why Paris Barrow is an emperor. Yeah. Or a commander. Yeah. Cash potential. There you go. There it is. Stop with the fucking... I don't understand. Luffy like, earned future sight in his fight with Katakuri. Yeah. It's not like he was about to die. No one... He wasn't trading future sight at all during the fight, and then he unlocked it. No. He went in with the purpose of trying to learn future sight. He was consciously trying to learn it during the fight. Yeah. Consciously. Putting his effort into it. Just like this new Haki here. He's consciously trying to learn it. And he's got it. Because he already has the basics of Haki down. It's just adding an extra layer on top. So, calm down people. The power up is good. It makes sense. The time frame is fine. The time frame is fine. I don't have a problem with the time frame. What's the difference of him... of? Like, Oda doing a two-month time skip off-camera, yeah. and then Luffy coming back at pool level. Do, do people want that? I, I'm guessing they do. That's very strange. We're getting to see how Luffy will be... We're getting to see how Luffy's growing in the new world. Satisfying. People want to see how Zoro and Sanji are going to do the same. It's it's Luffy's time, baby. He's making the Pyro King run. And they will learn when they fight. Exactly. In water. There uh, you go. There it is. Time for a power scale. The power scale, Christian. Do you want to go first, or do you want me to go first? You got a character in mind? Sure, I do have a character okay, in mind. Okay, you can go first, huh? Queen. <sighs> got lit up, I, I think, guess, Mom. I guess, I guess. Got we fucked up. It. We've seen the We've seen the, we've seen the devil fruit. It's pretty easy as well to put him where he belongs. Just put him in commander tier. Like, what's, what's even the discussion? Put him in the high tier. High tier with Mingo and shit. Yeah. Do it. I will remind people that Doflamingo was shooting his pants at the, at the name drop of Kaido for good reason. Mingo would straight up get one shot by Kaido. We all know that. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So let's go Queen the Plague in that high tier. Now, does Beckman have to get rescaled? To high high. To high high. Now. You, you complain we're about Viva cards in, all the time. We're into the Rayleigh. Is, uh, the, the argument was he's a fan of Rayleigh. 
for back better is the high high tier. Okay. But we are getting insane levels of high for back red. You say you don't like the Vibra cards. I don't. But when the fuck are we going to see Beckman fight otherwise? Next arc, baby. Next arc. You, uh, are you going to veto this, Reese Gailey? I mean, if you if you want to do it, you can do it. But you're doing it off a of Vivra card, which you say you don't like. Well, the Vivra card is different saying this Mihawk, man... Apparently Mihawk's uh, looking for someone to surpass Shanks. People always take this out of context. And make me mad. Yeah. Alright. We all know that that was ten years ago because he dueled him ten years ago. Before he lost his arm. We all know that. People want to ignore that context. They what haven't dueled since. What do you want to say, Christian? They haven't dueled since. Alright, they haven't dueled since. If you want to do it, we can do it. I think it's unfair. To Rayleigh. Because I asked for evidence for Rayleigh. Where the fuck is Rayleigh at again? Rayleigh's at high. Do talk about Rayleigh next week, Christian? Talk about Rayleigh next week when we see the hockey. We already know what it does. Oh, we'll see what it does, though, to Empress. All right. We haven't seen what it does. All right. The big big daddies, as it were. So you want to move Beckman up? No. I don't. Do All right. I don't want to move Beckman up. You don't want to move Beckman up. We'll veto that, veto that discussion. We'll, we'll, we'll shelve it All right. for now. Because I don't think it's fair to Rayleigh. All right. Okay. I don't think it's better, really. All right. Now let's think, because we're getting to the point where like we're picking random characters. Do we have? It'll ease up in the war. Do we have Wanze? <sighs> I doubt it. From the train, CP seven member. No, we don't have one, Zay. The Noodle Master. The Noodle Master. Where did we put Jabber and shit? Jabber and shit is, I believe, low high. Surely. Far less, obviously. Far less than low high. Sanji easily dispatching this man. The only fight he uses is knives. The famous fight where people argue that about the Sanji, you know, Sanji, Sanji having weapon skills. Are right, you my high low, Mr. One? Do you want to say low? I think... Oh, I'm going to say low for Wanze. Why? Because he's got the bullshit gimmicks. He has um six paths. He has six paths. So he can do all these weird body modification shit. Yep. Which he's done. He's got this weird noodle form. That like traps attacks in it. Does he beat Arlong? I think he's got the gimmicks. To beat Arlong. The gimmicks. He's a gimmick fighter. All right, we got Mister. We forgot Mister Three above Arlong. We got Paulie above Arlong. They're they're both in the same arc. Yeah, I think Wanzi and Paulie good fight. Right? Okay, Sanji easily dispatching Mister One, not Mister One. Easily dispatching Wanze. Wanze. Yes. So I'm gonna say a low for Wanze. Better than better than Kuro. Better than Buggy. What if Sanji? Yeah. Unlocks flow. Yeah. Via cooking. That's interesting. You can see it happening. Sure. You can hear the voice of the ingredients, Christian. Sure. AKA the meat. Toriko shit. Pan the meat. Yeah. Alright, maybe. Alright, Wanze Low. There you go. There it is. Power scale this week. Uh, Queen. High low. High high. High. Just high. high. Just high? Just high. I believe it is. Just high, yes, just high. And one's a low. Oh, yeah, just low. Alright. There you go. Two carries to get fucked up. Sure. Both both carries got fucked up. Yep. So are they equal? Who knows? Okay. Alright, there you go. Moving on to the power scale. No, the power. The question Push. corner. It's about 40 questions. Now, if you want to ask questions... Uh, community type. I put. I post. Uh, I uh, post a comment or an image asking for questions. Day before. You can post on the video. You can post on Discord. You can post on Twitter. Yes. Email. Uh, Patreon. Yep. You can do it wherever you want. You can ask questions. Now we hit the limit here. Forty questions. A lot of questions. What do you want to say? 
Uh, one. People on people on keep your questions to one question a week. Keep them coming in. There's always next week. You can always put your question. You can always put your second question in next week. All right. Don't feel like you have to give us a question if you don't want to. We got about forty questions here, so uh, you know, let's just start. I mean, when, when, when we hit a million subs, Christian, we got ten yeah. million questions. We're gonna have to. It's, it's gonna have to, We're gonna have to. We're gonna have the system. Right? Yeah. From Joe Shell, do you think Zunisha will come into play in Wano? As is she an ancient weapon? All right. No, it looks like. Ido and Neko are going to arrive with boats, and I think Zunisha's going to... We might get some lore on Zunisha and the ancient history around yep. that. Maybe in the final war, Zunisha turns up with sure. the Minx. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really think so. Okay. Also, by the way, the God Shirt King... God, God King T-shirt. He got it. He can't wait to wear it. Keep up the good work. We appreciate you for buying the shirt. From Pat. So can. Do you think Luffy will block her attack similar to how Rayleigh had done with the elephant? He will repel her back and escape. In my mind, you guys think it'll be more of a fight or what's your guess on what his training will be like? Thanks for reading my question. My idea is he'll block the attack. Tom is going to come in and stop the fight. All right. That's my, that's my thing. Luffy's going to get caught up in what's going Luffy's on. Luffy's going to repel. She's going to fall over. Yeah. Blood on the knee. Blood on why the elbow. Would, why are here? And it disables the fucking thing for a second. Okay. Well, I just did blood of the fist. Yeah, it doesn't really give the same effect. Why? Because we've shit. already seen the plan to disable Big Mum's balloon before. But if there's blood of the fist, it's the same r- r- implications. Why disable the whole shield? It doesn't make sense. Alright, my theory is... Yeah, Chopper movie, or someone will Luffy blocks it, blocks it, Chopper and shit, repel, Big Mum off Luffy, talk her down... Luffy gets caught up to speed. They start destroying the prison together. Blowing up cages. Luffy uses, uses his heart. There's not going to be a fight. No, I don't think there's going to be a no fight. fight. No fight. I don't see it happening. Alright. From DR. When Luffy first grabbed the collar, I immediately thought, this is awakening. Watching Brago's streams, it seems like he thought the same. What do you think Luffy's awakening will be? Will it be similar to Spice Girl? Everything is a JoJo reference. Could be. What do you think about that? All right, Luffy's Luffy's awakening being Spice Girl from JoJo. Follow the narrative thread. Yeah. It is not awakening. We know it's not. It's confirmed not awakening. It's the Haki flow. Yeah. There's no reason for you to think of waking, but yeah, I could see. If you see the panel without anything being said, maybe you can see it's been awakening. Right. I I could see Luffy's awakening being something similar to Spice Girl. Sure. From Jojo. From Jojo. If you don't making, know what that is. Making things rubbery. Ru- ru- making things soft and rubbery. Yeah. Comes so, in handy. Yeah. But uh, I'm still concer- I still have concerns over Luffy's Awakening. But What if he like punches the ground and like the ground springs up and like it's a rubber ground and like he like bounces back attacks that way. Or I could do Ballamy shit. Yeah. <sighs> so like he punches the ground like a pillar of 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 ground comes up and is rubberized, and like let's just say like I don't know fucking. You could use uh, it for shielding. You could use yeah. it for a lot of things. Yeah, it's just kind of lame. I think it's not really Luffy's deal. I think it could be cool. You know, it all depends on what Oda wants to do with yeah. it. We'll see. We'll see what the awakening's gonna be. All right. Your second question. We know. Putting it in water, do you think she will recover Big Mom's memories along with her past memories during her rampage? Well, she's not on a rampage yet, and we don't know who putting is here. Speculation. Speculation. We didn't see her. Is a possibility, yeah. I don't know how she gets the old memories of her youth. I don't know how that happens. Yeah, suppressed as a theory. Alright. I think it's possible. Even though she didn't actually have the memory of eating them. And... The last question, how powerful do you expect Weevil is? This is a hard question, really, to answer. First commander. First commander level. It makes no sense for him to be after Kaido. Yeah. And for him not to be, like... Depends what the narrative is about with him, though. Because he seems to be manipulated. Sure. He's only going to fight Marco, right? Do you think the Weevil plotline revolves around the Rock's plotline? 
Because we know Bucky was in a crew 40 years ago. I guess. We also know Whitebeard, also in a crew 40 years ago, was all the emperors on a fucking Rocks Pirates. Maybe. I mean, what? The next villain after one is Rocks on our birth. Well, we need someone. It has to be something. You know, it's either Whitebeard Jr. or fucking Rocks. Still confused about what the next. I think is. Rocks could come into play with Whitebeard Jr. because of the Miss Bucket connection. I think it's a possibility but right now. But he's that. got. It, it's he's hinted to fight Marco. It'd be weird if he's like, not even commander level. Yeah. He's going after Marco, and if, yeah. if he turns up, if he turns out to be uh, an ally for us, he's gonna have some level of strength. Yeah. Otherwise, he's useless. Yeah. It's weird. So we'll it's, see. It's, it's, it's a hard question because we don't know what he's. We don't really really fit to the plot. It's hard to scale it. Yeah. Right. From Fernando. Is there any character you want to be reintroduced to the story? I'm hoping to see Crocodile, Boa, and Buggy again. Buggy constantly is in the story. So, maybe Boa turns up somewhere. Crocodile. Crocodile, yeah. I want to see Crocodile. Where's my boy? I want to see him. I want to see if he has Haki or not. I want to see how strong he's become so people can shut the fuck T-Bone up. T-Bone got a shout out, you know? T-Bone got a shout out. I mean, Crocodile did, did get, get a, a shout, shout out, out during the referee. But there's mystery behind it. All right. We need to know how strong Crocodile is because I'm sick of, of this names. Crocodile head cannon without any evidence. Anel, ridiculousness. Yeah. Annoying. From Ron Quixote Dean the third, What is Shakespeare's favorite part of a woman? You could go for the obvious answers. Shanks. He's a refined man. Man of taste, man of character. Man of power. Right? He could have any woman in the world he wishes. So therefore, by that, by that logic, body parts are really bad to him because he can have whatever he wants. So it's going to have to be the soul. The soul. There you go. Because he can get anyone he wants. Yeah. I mean, he could get the most beautiful woman in the world. doesn't matter who. It doesn't matter. So at that point, why don't get the best of both worlds? Right? The soul is the correct answer. Alright, next question. From AZ Fan. Why is Queen Yellow also... Uh, Yasu's hedgehog is officially Sonic the Hedgehog. Because he's blue. Blue hair. Uh, she, he's, he's blonde. He's, he's blonde for some reason. Yeah, I, I think it works colored. It okay. works. I don't know. I, I like it. Got the black and white. It needs to be black in the manga for, for contrast. So. Yeah. But I think it works colored. The black and white suit. I like it. Yeah. With the blonde. I like it. I like, I like Queen's coloring. It could have been. Way worse. Pink. It could have been fucking weird oh, turquoise. a little bit. On the colors of water. He loves the water color. He loves the color of water. He loves it. Next question. From Sonji Lollipop. Why is Greg Goda do so many people... Why is Great Goda do so many people think Big Mom has regressed to a five-year-old age? So why do people think that Oda made Big Mom five years old in a memoryless state because it's stupid yes never stated never said she showed that it she could do what happens is right it, it comes down to the theory that she's gonna realize that she ate her fucking friends yeah, yeah. so she's five years old she's, she's gonna relive the memory of her sixth birthday yeah dumb she's Next not five point. years old she's still she's still working out mysteries of the world Luffy ate it uh, she understands concepts like giving back to people. She speaks in full sentences. She speaks in full sentences. I don't understand this meme. Yeah. I don't understand it. It's a meme. It makes, it makes no sense giving the story context and how she talks. Exactly, so the yeah. Exactly. From Calvin T. After Wano, do you think we will be... Well, who will be the strongest next opponents? Navy, another Yonko crew, etc. Albaf, we assume... Could be the Albaf royalty, could be Weevil. Odin, uh, Loki, Thor, those kinds of characters. Could be Weevil. Could be Weevil, could, could be, be Rocks. Big, could be Big Mom. Big Mom. Rocks. A lot of places to go. A lot of people to see. We've been on this saga and this journey for a long time. Odin has to set up a new one. From Jadra Saw. 
Will Luffy learn awakening during Wano as well as improved armament hockey? And if so, will he teach him? And if so, who will teach him? Could it be Kid? No, it's not Kid. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Kid would never teach Luffy regardless, even if he has awakening. Yeah. So I don't think that's happening. Uh, uh, awakening during Wano, I don't think... Maybe during the Kano fight as a kind of last power-up. Nah, no awakening this Maybe. Not yet. I don't understand how that would help him, though. It would have to be weird shit. He would have to, like, work out how to use it. Strange. From uh, Fibo... Well, when Katakuri kind of joins the crew, he'll teach it. Exactly. From Fibo, Ponted. Do people need to chill about how Big Mom... About Big Mom beating Queen? Yes. Because it's obvious... And you should already have known that. Yep. Alright? You should already know that. Correct. From Eric Avan Tala. Is Big Mom your type of woman? Too big. Too crazy. Too old. Correct. Alright? So no. From Jack's Plays. What do you think contributes to Kyro and Big Mom's Seemingly undamageable bodies. Could it have to do with something? Could it have to do with Haki since Big Mom sort of loses her will when the picture of Mom, Mother Caramel gets hurt, causing her to be able to get hurt? A short, a sort of innate Haki. I think it's Haki for Big Mom. Haki for Big Mom, Delver for Kato. Scales, because Luffy's already said the scales thing. Yeah. So that's kind of the most evidence we have for that. So I think it's Haki for Big Mom. And it's, people are gonna it's say scales. water. People are gonna say sea stone. Luffy's body still rubber, regardless. Exactly. So he, Kaido's body would still be dragon scales, regardless. All right. From uh, OGC of the Son of the Sea. Yeah. How do you feel about the Wano characters' color scheme so far? I think they're all right. He a he's little too a blue. Little, he's got a little bit crazy with the Oda colors. Only loves, loves the color of Wano. We see it with Kojiro. Every art gets more Wiser. strange with the colors. Sure. We're getting, you know, I'm just going to do something new every time, you know. I don't mind it. It's fine. I don't mind it. It's, it's good so far. From from left jab, will Chopper, being Olin's friend, calm her down and convince Luffy he is a friend? If not, how will they stop her? Yeah, yes, I, I, that's think that's all, how, that's I think that's how she's going to be stopped. Yep. From uh, Daniel, do you think any other supernovas can beat Katakuri? Who has the best chance? No, probably Law. Because of his stupid door for it. Law or some Hawkins horse shit. Yeah. Right? People with the broken devil face. We've fruits. seen Law cut uh, treble so he can't reform. Sure. So maybe that, but I don't... Law's waiting. Law is not fast enough. No, neither no is one, Hawkins. Luffy's the fastest and most powerful. Obviously. Of the, of the super nerds. Speed has got everyone covered by a mile. No doubt about that. No doubt about that. You could argue a rouge for power or whatever. Maybe. Sure. Yeah. Maybe a kid. I think you would have to gimp him with power-ups. Well, the, the devil fruit powers. But he, no one's fast enough to even touch him. Yeah. From Shiryu... Or dodge him, even. From Shiryu off the block. Why do you think it's a big deal that Luffy broke the explosive decks? I know it reflects what Rally did in body, but I don't know how... How Haki could help with this. Yeah, we talked... The, the collars were never a threat. It's just to ex- kind of give us... A, I, I a kind taste of, ex- of Shibondi. I kind of explained how I think it works. With the... The will... The, the, the will. scene would have worked better if we got a little... Panel of... Back in Shibondi, Rayleigh doing the same thing. I mean, we know that happened though. Yeah, I know, but like... It just gives us a, a confirmation that... Sure, know. it's the same thing. Yeah. But... We've been talking about that for years. Is that this kind of hockey? It's kind of confirmed here. I think, yeah, I'll, I'll say it again. I think Luffy bent the object to his will. Similar to how people cut steel. Yeah, similar to how Zoro cuts steel, cuts to his will. Yeah. Luffy bent the thing to his will. That's what I think it's trying to say. It's kind of weird. It's a, it's kind of not the best example to start with, with this kind of, of how he unlocked it. I guess it. Hyo will explain it at some point. Yeah, I guess. Specifically. Yeah. All right, where are we? All right, from Lang Man Luffy. Why do you think it's a big? Uh, did, I already, did I already say that? I oh, was the same fucking question. All right. 
Why do you think it's a big deal that Luffy broke the explosive neck brace? I know... I know it reflects what Rayleigh did in Shibondi, but I don't get how the Haku could help with this. Is it the same question from different people? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of questions. We're going to miss a few. But it's exactly the same. I don't know what's going on. It's exactly the same question. I don't know. Uh, sorry if we uh, fucked that if up. If we missed your question, it's not because we didn't see it or we don't like it. It's human error. We yeah. apologize. It's 40 questions here, right? From Ravidra. Should Oda make Luffy and other superheroes stronger leading up to Wano? Even with his current training, defeating Kaido will feel cheap as if as it will lead it will need a Kaido nerf or Hawkins slash Mori buff to beat him. That's just the way it's going to be. We're going to have a lot of people on our side. That's just the way Kaido. it's going to be. Luffy's friends coming in to help him. That's Luffy's main power, but that's what Mihawk said his main power is. I don't understand why it's cheap. The fight's still going to be entertaining. You're still going to get crazy feats. I don't think Kaido's going to get nerfed. Luffy's gonna get buffed. I think uh, there's gonna be a lot of team effort. I would rather Luffy. Ju- People love Oz Junior. Yeah. It's gonna be an Oz Junior situation, Oz. but Oz is gonna be an Oz situation, but you know, 20, 30 chapters. I think strategies failing, strategy succeeding. Yeah, I think Luffy. I think there's gonna be buffs. I don't necessarily think there's gonna be nerfs. Because you want to see Kaido in full form. I don't think there's going to be... Uh, we'll get the Hawkins shit, maybe. With the Hawkins, maybe more. Which will Jesus fail. Coming. Like, all the buffs will fail. No, nah, the buffs will work. And he'll get damage on Kaido. And then yeah, he'll and finish then him off, off with whatever. Yeah. So, but in no way is it going to be I a think, 1v1. I think it's better if Luffy gets a, gets power. <coughs> gets... Uh, get buffs. Gets buffs. Nah. Then kind of being nerfed. Because we want, want to see Kaido in full form. I want to see just a full out team attack. Like, just have six people on Kaido. Sure. But we don't want Kaido to be nerfed because we want to see him in full yeah. form. And should have... Should have... Should have... Oda made Luffy and the other Supernova stronger and leave it up to Wano. I don't know how he does this for the other Supernovas. Like, we've talked about this a lot. I was saying this on King's stream, right? And King agrees with me. Luffy trained... With the Dark King, right hand man to the King of the Pirates. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That training needs to mean something, otherwise it was pointless. Why yeah. is it special that Luffy was trained by Rayleigh? Yeah. If Kid is equal strength to him. But I think the question he's trying to ask is, is, should he, should is, the, progression a, is the progression a little bit off? Was Dofamin Guru too strong, and then therefore Katakuru is too strong, Therefore, Kaido's too strong. I don't know. What do you want to say? Nah, I think Oda could have given Gear 4 more time. Don't know if the time limit of being so short helps him. Sure. Because then people complain about Asterix. Maybe this new flow hockey makes his uh, hockey more efficient. His base form better. Yeah. We'll see. Maybe, maybe the Supernovas should have been stronger at this point. Yeah, but, you know, that's how it is. Yeah. From Katakuri Kata, here are some serious questions. He's got six. Yeah. Six serious questions, no memes, all serious. One, are the power-ups that Luffy is getting recently uh, justifiable, such as Suicide, Advanced Haki, Snake Man, and Tag Man? Yes. Yes. Why, why are we assuming Snake Man's a power-up? There's no reason why he, he didn't. He had Snake Man and Tag Man. Yeah, and it's not better than Bounce Man. It's different. It's a side. Uh, it's a side grade. It's does not, different things. It does different things. Is it justifiably? Yeah, it's just. I've already we had the whole topic of the show justifying this. Yeah, and how Params work in Shonen. Two, any problems with the whole blooming concept? No, it's just how Params work. It's not egregious. You're not gonna unlock something if you're not pushed to unlock it. Yeah. Also, you push, not gonna Luffy's it. not going to unlock something in the Kaido fight that's going to make him on Kaido's level. Yeah. Relax. I don't have a problem with the blooming. Three, why is no one else besides Luffy Haki blooming? No one's been in fights. No one's been in fights. Has Saji been in fight? No. Has... I mean, Usopp... Usopp. Usopp bloomed. Usopp bloomed in... In, 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 in Dressrosa. So, factually correct. Okay. There you go. There you go. And there it is. You could also say Zoro at the start of the series. In yeah. Alabaster. Incorrect. Right? Four. 
If Haki blooms in dire situations, do you think Kid should have future sight and advance Haki as well as since he's been in many dire situations? The right. time skip such a here's the thing people, people don't understand. You have to know it to be able to unlock it. You have Luffy just didn't unlock it because he was dying. He unlocked it because he was trading it? Trading with his mind. And he, he knew it existed. About doing, he was trying to do it. He knew it existed. He was trying to unlock it. He failed multiple times over and over again. Yeah. And then he finally unlocks it in a dire situation. He's tra it's a combination of the two things. You're missing the final link. Now, if we find out that Kid fought fucking Ben Beckman for 12 hours and lost, and Kid was trying to learn Future Sight the entire time... Fair enough. Justifiable. Yeah. But we don't know that. Five. All right, next question, five. Don't you feel like Oda is focusing too much on Luffy's power growth rather than the Straw Hands as a whole since the time skip? Yes and no. Would I, ha would I have liked to see a, a really good fight with Zoro and Saji? Yes. And the other Straw Hats? Yes. But here's the thing people forget. Luffy making the Pyro King run. Is Zoro going to be the Pyro King? No. Is Saji going to be the Pyro King? No. We talked Luffy about power scale progressions as the well. The power king. Just look at Dragon Ball. Uh, Goku always ahead. We'll make always the ahead. point again. If Zoro beats King here in Wano by himself. He was stronger than Luffy in Fishman Island. That's not my point, but yes. Shiryu is not exciting. Exactly. Because we've already been the first commander with Zoro. Yeah. And he's got exactly. not much to learn. Exactly. So yeah. he has to do Kirishiro this arc. And then he'll power up to the next level. I think you'll see power ups this arc. You'll see Shiryu cool. and then you'll see an Emerald. I think you'll Zoro. see a Water 7 and East Lobby situation where Zoro and Saji get in power ups in this arc. I think you'll see it. I think you'll be excited This is the progression it. for Zoro. Kirishiro. Right? Yeah. Slightly below commander level. Yeah. Then a commander. Yeah. Then, uh, then an admiral. Yeah. Then Mayhawk. Yeah. That's it. And then he's done. You know, he might fight Smoothie and then fucking, you know, whatever. Okay. But there it is. His sixth question. Do you think do you think this blooming hockey is a convenient way for Oda to make Luffy ready to stand a chance against Kukano? You're not you're you're not looking at the context around this statement. Yes, Haki blooms in combat, but every time we've seen it, it's Luffy trying to master a new technique, trying to train the technique. He just doesn't get it out of nowhere. This is what people don't understand. They're taking the concept as it is and not looking at how it's implemented. In the story. It's implemented in the story as you have to train it. You have to be pushed to the limit of what you can do. And then you can and unlock it. And it's not like Luffy's going to fight Kaido. Push to death. Unlock Ultra Instinct. Haki mode. Yeah. And win. That's yeah. not what's going to happen. That's not how it works. No. You're not looking at how it's implemented in the story. If you say things like this. You're not looking at it. Yeah. Alright. Uh... But he's asking the question. Not necessarily, not necessarily he thinks he's just asking the questions, Christian. Sure. What did Luffy do different in the prison than when he was at the training island to get his advanced haki? There was just fauna, fighting fauna, but on the on that island, all the animals were getting shot. He didn't... He wasn't trying to learn that technique. I don't understand why people can't understand that. How do you unlock something if you're not trying to unlock it? He's learning the basics it makes of haki. Literally, no sense. Doesn't look like Rayleigh even brought it up to him. It's either. not Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan is something you can't unlock without knowing about it. Advanced haki, you have to know about it. You have to know how it works. Consciously aim for it. Consciously aim for it and then unlock it. There's a series of situations. Now, Awakening could be that Super Saiyan form. Yes. It's a different story. It's not Haki. It's a different system. Mm -hmm. But you're not looking at how it works in context of the, of the situation. Luffy in the prison, he's trying to learn it. He's trying to get the hang of it. It's exactly the same as Katakuru fight. Sure, he's not getting beat up. He's not getting destroyed. But he's still trying to learn it. Takes him a full and day. And he has someone to help him as well. He has a master to tell him what he's doing wrong. He shows him wrong. how to do it as well. He shows him how to do it. 
right? He's not just unlocking this when he's about to get one shot by Big Mom and he just throws out this thing and unlocks it. Yeah. No. Look at what actually happened. He, he thought he thought back to when he saw Rayleigh and said to Mario. How am I going to go through kind how of am I gonna, How am I going to learn this technique? He tries to do it. Hiroguro catches on. Hiroguro happens to know this technique. And then he starts giving Luffy's pointers on how to unlock it. Which is also connected back to the past. Exactly. And then days go past the more training. Hiro gets knocked out of this order of the Coliseum. It's a dire situation. It's make or break. Luffy pulls through. Hiro forces Luffy in this situation as well to train him specifically. Exactly. Luffy was going to bail. But no. But Hiro makes him do it. Here. But he also used it on the, on the, on the collar. Yes. So it's a dire situation. It's make or break. Luffy pulls through. Blue Beak in the heat of battle. Now if uh, Hiro's like Luffy, you have to learn Kaido Buster Haki to be an emperor. And then he consciously aims to train it and then somehow beats Kaido single, in single combat. Yeah. Then we got a problem. It's about managing the the disbelief. Alright? About managing the disbelief. It's not Super Saiyan. It's not all those things that you think, that some people think it is. And it... It makes sense why not many people have it. You have to know what it is. You have to know what it is, and you have to consciously and you have to try see and get it. it. You have to see it and try and replicate it. We've seen this hockey blooming maybe three or three times or twice. Yes. Maybe Count Zora in there. Usopp, Sniper. A four trying times. Trying to see. He's trying to visualize. He wants to see the He's shot. He's trying to visualize the win and where Luffy is. And then he unlocks it. How Viola's helping him. Where, they, where are they? Yeah. Then he unlocks it. Luffy vs. Katakuri, try to unlock Future Sight. Rayleigh told him, t- told him it exists. He knows it exists during Katakuri. He tries to learn it. He unlocks it. With, with massive struggle. Gets the hint from Katakuri. You need to be calm for observation. Like Zoro in Alabasta thinks back to his master. He's, tr- he's trying to unlock this technique through the whole Mr. One fight. Yeah. And then at the end, when he's pushed close to death, die situation, he unlocks it. The, in all four situations and context... Around these situations, you have to have knowledge. People have knowledge, and they are trying specifically to unlock a technique they know about. Yes, that's what people are missing, and that's what people don't understand. Okay, that's what it is. There it is. So please make a video about this and fucking distribute it. All right, will be I'll, you, King. I'll ghost write it so you can just put it out again to the masses. Okay, please. I don't think you'll agree, though. I don't see why not. All right. You might have to, you know, talk about Future Sight with him a lot. We can, we, whatever he wants to call what Luffy has. All right. All right. Next question. From Zodek Smith. He's got six questions. How will, what will happen after the prison break in regards to Luffy? Uh, what will he, uh, look. all right. I don't know what the last part of that question is, but what will happen to Luffy after the prison break? I assume we meet back up with the crew, we discuss the plan, and we trade. We're going to talk to the fucking bosses, we're going to get shoot tomorrow, a lot of stuff to do still. We're still going to bust up the prison. Kid and Luffy. Yeah, the Kid and Luffy alliance, we'll see it. Right. The Hawkins and shit as well, lore. Two. Is Shanks strong enough to defeat anyone in the verse? If so, why doesn't he go and kill Blackbeard and his crew? The world government and the other Yonko. FYI. I don't think he wants to be Pirate King. Shanks cares about the battles of the world. If he gets rid of Blackbeard, the world gets thrown into chaos. He knows his actions have consequences. Exactly. Gets rid of the Navy, pirates murder people. Exactly. He's trying to keep the balance. Alright? He's all about balance. He's a god who does not want to intervene. Yes. Because it causes too much pain and and, and torment. Alright? That's why. He only intervenes when he has to. Exactly. How will Luffy and Shanks meeting go down? Will they Will they fight? How could Luffy beat the God King with that big, with that biggest ass pull from Oda Sun? Well, I, the, you know, Davey back five, we've talked about this before. Some sort of competition. How will the meeting? I want to see tears. I want to see smiles. I want to see hugs. Exactly. I want the whole chapter to be about their meeting. Exactly. Luffy meets Shanks. Yes, the promise. Usopp. People sleeping on it. The sh- the promise. Right. That's what this fucking chapter should be called. Yeah. 
Chat to 1,000. The problem. 1,000? Okay. If he's the one, I could be done by chapter 1,000. Shanks might turn up in one, you don't know. That's also true. Next question. Will all the show hearts get real flies this arc apart from Luffy? I hope so. Def definitely Zoro and Sanji and Luffy. Now, is it conceivable that Luffy and Kid fight legitimately? Yeah. A 1v1? Luffy destroys Kid, obviously. Uh, what's the point? There's no point to that. No, Luffy will not get a 1v1 fight this arc. He already had a few. I think it's possible just to show one. how strong he is, maybe defeats Kid. We need some showcase to show how strong Kid is before we go into the fight. That's also true. So something needs to happen with Kid. Otherwise, we're going to be left in the dark. Which I might do. Until the final battle. Yeah. Uh, destroy. He's talking about straw hats, though. Okay. Yep. Zoro and Sanji. We might get a few definitely. Zoro and Sanji definitely getting fights. Other straw hats. I hope so. I don't know. We might have Uso and Chopper together. You know. Yeah. What would su surprise you the most about this arc? Shanks turned it up. Alright. Six. How do you think the anime will handle the first Louvre's kind of fight? Do you think it will it will be even better than the Louvre's category fight? No, the the choreography isn't there. It's just Luffy going off. Like, there's no choreography. Yeah. It's just Luffy punching Kaido. I don't think so. But that final fight, potential. Lots of potential, all right? All right, next question from Badger. How many fucking... There's a lot, all right? Let's just count how many more pages of questions. Uh, uh, four more pages right. of questions. Badger, who will be the new MC now that Luffy is uh, clearly clearly dying next chapter? New MC Shanks, yep. his journey to uh, to avenge Luffy. Let's see it. To avenge his son. All right. From Keiko, thoughts about the white hair colors? Yeah, they're good. I don't know. They're all right. The only weird ones like Kurumasaki. Yeah. I don't really like that color. That teak, teal, kind of turquoise. Turquoise color. Yeah, they don't really like in that color, but yeah, the rest are good. We've got Smash Car Casca, famed Patreon supporter. Yes. Can we get a young Obama interview on the show? No. No. Does it have a channel? Does he have a channel? Does it have a channel? I don't know if he has a channel or not. But we no, have people talk to. No troll. No worth talking to. Okay. There you go. From Fanboy Sims. Will this fight be a 1v1 or is there is there a chance of Luffy, Kid, Karamatsu, Killer and maybe even Queen versus Big Mom? I don't think there's a chance of that happening. I think it's not going to be a fight. It's not going to be a fight. No. From Luffy Taro. Do you think Hyo may turn out to be stronger than people previously thought? Will he be an ally used against Big Mom? Well, first part of this question, yes, because we didn't expect him to know the flow hockey, yep. so he's already... We didn't know he's high... his body back. We'll get his high body back, we don't know. Will he be used... I don't think this Big Mom fight's happening. Nah, we're not going to defeat Big Mom here. No. From she young, still has used to us. From the famed Young Obama, will the port armor help Luffy next chapter? See, this is why he's not coming on the channel. <sighs> it really doesn't make any sense. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Uh, do you, how do we answer this question? Yes. yes. I guess we have to answer yes. From Plan uh, 49. Why is Law overrated? Good question. He's got a stupid ability. Very good question. Stupid ability. Edgy. He looks edgy. He acts edgy. People like that. Okay. He's quote unquote competent, quote unquote smart. That's why Apparently. people are That's yeah. why people are rave. Sure. All right. From Lord Zarkon. I can't I can't think of a one piece question this week, so I'll ask this. What are some of your favorite films and video video games? Godfather. One and two. One and two. Mad Max. Mad Max Fury Road. Sure. Uh John Week Two. No one, no three. Okay. Uh, that's enough for movies. Games. Is Banjo Kazooie really one of your favorite games? Yep. Really. 
One of my favourites. Sure. Frame rate issues. All right. I didn't say it was the best. I said it was my favourite. The answer, the question is favourite. Ocarina of Time, of course. Uh, you know, the classic. Mario World. Mario World. The classic. Mario Maker coming out soon. Get excited. Mario World. What else? Uh, fucking. Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers Ultimate. What a fucking game. Right. Plays daily. Plays daily. Well, not daily. Week. I play jogging around to it, right? I play it every second day. At right? least four times a day. At least four times a week. We'll go with Pro and Badger comes out. Oh, yeah, Eric's got Pro and Badger comes out, so watch out for that. Yeah. All right? There you go. That, that's the question. All right. From, oh, yeah, Metal Gear Solid 5, of course. Let's not forget that. Metal Gear Solid 3 also. All right. Let's not forget that. Eh? From, Man, you want man? Two questions. Do you think... Do you guys have a problem with Luffy growing this fast or you guys in the cab that you don't mind it as long as he's being explained? Yes. The speed is not relevant because we've had like fucking 13 chapters. And it's not like he's... Um, we've said, said so much about this, yeah. It's not like he's going Super Saiyan 4. Yeah. It's, uh, it's an incremental power-up. It's an incremental power-up as a technique. Yeah. It's, like he, it's not like his base stats are... Oh, well, they are in this training sequence. But it's not like he's going to jump six spots after he learns his technique. He's going to use his technique. All right. Second question. Do you guys read Gintama? And if so, how sad are you about this? It's ending. No, no read. No, Gintama is the dark horse of the Shona genre. King Raycon. Very few people read it. Love it, though. But the people who do read it, love it. So, Gintama. Maybe I might do a read through. Who knows? Maybe. From Red Robin Podcast. Some people wrongly believe that Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji, Jim and Brooke are the strongest, but that's incorrect. Is Robin top five of the crew? Yes or no? Or well, says yes or yes. So it's not really a question. Luffy, Z Zoro, Sanji, or Jim in there? Jim Is Frankie. it Frankie or Robin? Frankie. Frankie's showing more. The general. The general. So no. She's probably sixth. It's probably sixth. You can make the if argument. You can, if you count Jinbei, he does. She so does. she's sixth. Yeah. Alright. But they're in that mid trio. It's not the weak trio. Yeah. From Hebi Heim. Alright. Why are there no... Why was there no Fire Emblem 3 House talk during the E3 talk last stream? They've talked about it a lot. Well, first there, of there all, was direct for it, well, wasn't well, it? Well, first of all, we don't stream. Right, it's a podcast. It's not a stream. Okay. That's the first correction. Second of all... Is he asking, why didn't Nintendo show it, or why didn't we talk about why it? Why didn't we talk about it? Okay. Is yeah. that the question? Read it. Well, it was a fucking CG trailer with no gameplay. And it's coming out pretty soon. And, uh, I've, I've already played the I Game Boy. I've it's already played the combat. The... I want to know more about the combat. I know what Fire Emblem is. And, uh... I've already pl I've played the Game Boy version. I've never played a modern one with you know the fucking children and the fucking dating sim shit. I haven't played that. The DS ones I haven't played them. I've only played the Game Boy one. Whatever that one is, the one with pretty good Roy or was it Bath? What was Bath? Radio Dawn or some shit. I don't know what it's called. There uh, you go. Whatever. Uh, that's why I'm not really interested in, in Fire Emblem. Okay. Yeah. From Silvers. With the way Luffy is encountering the Emperors at, at the rate he's coming into contact with, do you think Shanks will play a role in Albaf or in a separate arc? Personally, I think Big Mom is finally being defeated in Albaf and Shanks will have his own arc Dedicated specifically to him without interrupt, interve intervening with anyone else. This is my head cannon. Is that the question? Yeah. This is my head cannon. And I think it's. We'll hold that pretty well. Shanks will put the icing on top to make Luffy an emperor with his training. Shanks is going to train Luffy? Yes. Okay. And that's obvious. And everyone knows that. Alright. There you go. Uh, will Big Mom be in Albath? I think so. People don't want to see it. People are sick of seeing Big Mom. Oh, he loves Big Mom. Break Ark down Albeth? Maybe with Weevil? Maybe. Maybe some rocks stuff. More. Okay. We'll get some rocks all here. Sure. Not now, though. 
No, no, now though. No, the communication systems are broken. All right. From uh, Sir Ulrich, do you do you think? Who do you think has the best chance of of banging of banging Luffy from the One Piece women? Boa. Boa. Obvious. That, that, that's obvious. She's the only one who's after Luffy. She's the only one that's on the hunt. Will Queen get up or wait till Big Mom leaves in order to take control back of the prison? Now, we... You know, see, people say he's either playing dead, he's uh, incapacitated. I think Big Mom's going to start Queen busting will up the prison. return for the final battle. Well, I think Big Mom's going to start busting up the prison with Luffy because they're going to get her on side. Yeah. So Queen's going to stay down. Unless Luffy goes in and fights him during the prison while Big Mom destroys it. Yeah. Which is how we're going to test this new Haki. It's possible. And Luffy, he, it wouldn't even be a definitive W because Big Mom softened him. There's already an asterisk on it. People aren't going to be satisfied. Kill me. Kill me softly. Kill no. me quietly. you got to think for that, Christian. <sighs> you know, it's going to happen. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? No one could ever be satisfied. No one could ever be satisfied. It, what if Queen says, I have my full strength? Doesn't matter. I am in my high reform, I am, I'm, and I'm in my full power. And I'm, I have healed from Big Mom's attacks completely. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. From CP, from Captain Said, what the fuck is the difference between this new Haki technique and Luffy just hiding and breaking the collar? It looks the same, hopefully it's explained. <laughs> I kind of explained it. Yeah, that's why I think it's a little unclear. It's a little, it's a little weird of a choice to do. We see the explosion effect that he's been using, but it seems like we have more effects that we need to explore. Yeah. Um, we already explained it. That's why I think it's happening. Okay. The bending of will. Okay. From Bindle, King of Lightning's tier three subscribers say Luffy's the worst shown in MC because of his progression of power. Is that justified? No, Rory said that. Incorrect, and those people are... Pfft. Yeah. No, I'm just... No. No. They're always looking to hate One Piece, pretty much. And Luffy specifically. Yeah. Luffy hates real. <sighs> From Nylock. Patreon subscribers? Yes. If a oh, human no. ate the human human fruit... Or if Chopper ate the reindeer, reindeer fruit, etc., what would happen? Uh, more body manipulation. Chopper probably wouldn't be able to control the fruit. I mean, it'd be more like an instinctual reindeer yeah. weird shit. I assume it's more body modification stuff. But, like, there'd be no hybrid form unless you got the rumble balls. Because there's no hybrid form. Because you're already a reindeer. They can manipulate your body. Can you, though? Because. We've only seen specific forms from Zoans. Robluchi, leopard form, hybrid form, human form. But there's multiple vari variations in those forms. Chris. But that's life returns, he's a slimy dad. It's not like he's uh, extending his claws, making his tail longer. He's okay. not doing chopper shit. All right. Chopper's the only one that really does it. So if you ate the human to human fruit, would it be null effects? No. Why is that? You'd be able to control the body. I don't think that's true. Maybe brain point, Christian. Chopper can manipulate his brain size. But that's because of the human fruit. That's not because of the... If he was already a human... I don't know, man. I think uh, it would be null and void. Just can't swim. Just can't swim. Maybe you could argue awakening is a possibility. Become the perfect man. Become the perfect ultimate specimen. Human human fruit become the Renaissance man, Christian. Yeah, I don't know. Become a rock. It is a question. From Blackbeard. What do you think about the Rock's Pirate Captain returning as returning as Luffy's entire enemy this arc instead or either of one of the Yonkos currently present in Wino? No. Kano's going down. Later. Rocks is for later, Kano's going down. It said multiple times we have we have reasons we have motivations we're aiming for it. Kind of going down. Saga. You gotta have to in the punk hazard. You gotta have to accept it. Kind of going down. That's it. Kind yes. gonna be defeated this arc. Right. From Abu Seal. 
Long time. Long time writer. Question, Connor. Why did Hiroguro himself remove the collar? Is it, it's, isn't he teaching Luffy the same technique you should, Luffy used to remove the collar? Hiroguro is familiar with the sword variation. He kind of understands how to do it with his fists. Not really familiar with the fist technique. Not really f familiar with the bending shit technique. Uh... Also, it could have been like he wants Luffy to do it. To, you know, training and shit, he'd rather die. Yeah. He's already willing to die for Luffy to unlock this haki. Uh -huh. So, there's also that reason. From Frazal Afridi, what if Pedro had eaten the leopard zone fruit? Pegans ate the turtle zone, which is kind of a water creature as well, as we never saw his hybrid from, which is very disappointing. What if Pedro ate the leopard zone fruit? I assume he'd just get bigger in stature. He'd be able to manipulate into various forms. He'd be able to turn to a leopard instead yeah. of just a big. Okay. There you go. Rip Pedro should have joined the crew. Rip Pedro indeed. Apparently he wasn't dead. You know? Okay. Apparently he wasn't dead. Alright. From Jordan Lee, question. I have a possible theory about the, about the capturing, about the capture to head will be Saji, and they will feed him a smile, and this will cause him to lose his previous gag. Even when they heal him, he won't have the previous anymore, and it'll fix his character because I think the most fans hate Saji's previous moments. I think it's annoying, but like the characters, the character aside from that, I think Oda is aware of this. He can make Saji a better character by removing the gag, and he. And he can just bang Nami every night without the gag. Also, Zoro can bang Robin in the next room. All right, got weird at the end. <laughs> got a little weird at the end. Um, uh, no. If Oda wanted to change Sanji's gag, he would have done a whole cake emotionally. He would have done a whole cake the character moment. He wouldn't yeah. have done it with a fruit cheaply. Uh, I don't or understand this. Me, the gag will not leave. The gag will never leave. The gags will never leave. Yes. And that's the, the charm of One Piece. Some people don't like the Sanji gag. Sometimes they're funny. Most of the times they're not funny. Also, Japanese love this gag. It's a classic gag. Japanese comedy. Yes. Master Rochi. You know, classic. Jiraiya. Jiraiya. It's a classic. Alright. Where are we? Alright. From Port Side. Last two questions before they made it. Great podcast is always my question. Keeping in line with the E3 Nintendo hype, have you heard of the Pokemon controversy going around about the cutting Pokemon for the game and what do you think about it? I'm just glad people are on my level about being disappointed in Game Freak. I was disappointed in Game Freak because they always take away features and put in new features that we don't want. Why in Pokemon X and Y we had super training? Great feature, made it easy to get EVs, you didn't have to fuck around with pen and paper, made our lives way easier. Sun and Moon, they get rid of the feature. Also, in Pokemon, Pokemon X and Y, we had the battle restaurant, made it way easier to level up Pokemon quickly, get competitive Pokemon ready to battle your friends. In, in Sun and Moon, no battle restaurant, no super training. IV candies, though. IV candies, sure. You don't have to do the bullshit Brady, but you still kind of do. Yeah. And then you have to... There's no there's no versus seeker. So you have to fucking go to the leaf forward and spam it. Annoying as fuck. Why do they always do this? Taking away features that we want and like, and a, a quality of life, taking it away to put in new features that no one wants. Why not just add to the Pokemon experience? I don't understand it. Yeah, and specifically now, this controversy. And now the national deck's not going to be in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Tipped everyone off the edge. Now this is going to be affect a very small population of the Pokemon audience. But it's a controversy. But it's like, controversy I mean, nonetheless. People also, are turning completely on, ga on, uh, on Game Freak. Company. Now, I understand that putting a thousand um, characters in the game, literally a thousand. Hard. Annoying. Hard. Time consuming, sure. costly. Sure. But your brand is built on catch em all. Sure. I will remind them. I will remind you of a little game called 
Dark Souls 3. Multiple enemy types. Multiple animations. Multiple quality animations. Is there a thousand of them? I would say there's more animations than there are in Sun and Moon. Or in, Is in there Sword and Shield. a thousand Pokemon? Is there a thousand enemies? But I'm saying they're, they're saying there's too many animations to do. For a thousand, yes. But if you look at you look at other games, they've got enemy types. How many enemy multiple types multiple do you reckon there'd be in Dark Souls 3? 40? Less? Well, you got all the bosses, which is a whole different a whole different kettle of fish. Well, how many bosses are there? 10? It's about 12 bosses. 12 bosses, all right. And how many enemies? Let 30? me count the enemy types. All right. Zombies. But Spearman, right? Just give me a guess. I don't want you to count them. There are at least five different zombies. Three different night zombies. Eight. Uh, the dogs. The all the different varieties of farmer men. The the gimp men. That's fifteen. Snake already. men. Snake men. Uh, snake heads. There's three different types of variety of those <sighs> snake people. Let's just say fifty, huh? Fifty. They all have. Combo animations, multiple attacks, flinch animations, death animations, roll animations, reaction animations to different weapons and, and abilities. What are Pokemon can't be talking about? What are the Pokemon animations that have to do walking cycles? Attacks. Flinch, attacks death. and flinches and deaths. Uh, there's a few attacks. A few different types. Uh, physical and, and ranged attacks. <sighs> And, and uh, status. So three different animations for those. What, what are they talking about? There's a thousand of them. There's they already have the models. They already have the models. No, they have to make new models. They don't already have the but models. But they are doing new animations for the attacks. We've already seen this with Double Kick. The evidence is out there. The problem is... Christian, they, they have, have to remake the models and you can't just transfer the rigs over. The problem is... People don't understand how this works. But... The problem is, it's not that they're lazy, it's not all of that. The problem is they got one year to make this fucking game. One or two, yeah, one or two years. They already put That's it, the fucking it. problem. If they had five, you'd have everyone you like. Three years? No, you'd have everyone you wanted. Yeah. But they got one to two, they got one to two years they to make this game. They didn't have Breath of the Wild last year. Exactly. Pokemon. If Pokemon want to make a massive leap into the next generation, they they're going to take, take time off. They're going to take like three years off, redevelop the Pokemon series, come up with a fresh game, do it like that. Now, are you That's boycotting Sword and Shield, Christian? It, like, this wouldn't affect me either way. Like, I'm not going to fucking get to National Dex. Yep. Mate, like, Pokemon ba Pokemon Home is going to come out after I'm done playing the game. So, like, what does it even matter? Yeah. You know? It's going to come out, like, six months after, so it doesn't even matter. I don't know. Understandable limitations in terms of... Time, uh, resources. time resources. Also, why is Pokemon Company 150 employees? They make like billions of dollars. Yeah, I don't know. Up staff, get an extra 100 people on, on, on campus in any company, and you can make high quality products, get some new ideas in there. They sell, to the, they sell too well. They don't care. They're not pushed. Like, can't keep blooming, Christian. They're not pushed. They're exactly. Not pushed. They're not pushed. All right? They're not taking risks. All right. From Lord Zarkon, last question. Uh, ever thought about doing theory videos? Or are you bored of that? How well did the Let's Plays do? Would you do other games? I think we should do a Let's Play series we'll upload hour-long plays. Because apparently our channel is a long-form channel. Exactly. And YouTube doesn't give a fuck about small videos. Do you want to edit that final episode of the... All, all together, just put it out? I could. Just put it out. Just finish that. it. I could do that. Just finish it. All right. Just all at once? Yeah, just put it... How many episodes are left? Like three? three. Just put it all at once. All right. There you go. It is you just fighting robots in the last boss. Yeah, exactly. Just put it all at once. Right. So if we do another Let's Play series... They'll probably be hour-long videos. Probably be hour-long. It would have to be only PC games because we've got no capture... We've got no capture soft hardware. Yep. So there you go. Maybe we invest in technology at some point. For what? Mario Maker? Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers. But, like, you can't do analog plays of Smash Brothers. Breath of the Wild 2. Breath of the Wild 2, coming out of 2022. We'll, we'll see what happens. All right, there you go. 
There's the show. Like, subscribe. Buy a share. 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 Join the Discord. Join the Patreon. Discord's popping off. All right, we've got lots of discussions going on. Yeah. You could play. Uh, you could play Terraria with the uh, with the boys in the Discord. Push my jump in. Exactly. There you go. There it is. That's the Red Fox podcast. Shags is the goalkeeper. Good night.